Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Update Error Code 0x8024002D that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, followed by error message WU underscore E underscore source underscore absent. A full file update could not be installed because it required the source. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a command to re-register the DLL file in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it starts with REGSVR32, and you want to go ahead and copy it from the description of my video, and then go up to top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste it in, hit enter on the keyboard, it should succeed, and once it's done, select OK, and now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, scan now should be one word attached to that forward slash out front, Hit enter on your keyboard to run the scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And once that has finished, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And once that has finished, hopefully you should be good to go. If you want to go ahead and proceed to check for updates, shouldn't have an issue. And one final thing we can try, if you want to open up the search menu, search for troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and open that up. Underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update troubleshooter. Go ahead and run that. And then hopefully it would be able to resolve the problem too. This is always something you maybe want to take a look at as well. There's really no harm in trying to run this troubleshooting utility. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.